Hello and welcome to PyShine Learning Series. In this tutorial we will learn how to install Microsoft Visual Studio Code Editor. We will also download and install Python and learn how to integrate it. Let's start by freely downloading Visual Studio Code Editor from the link in the description below. Open up the Visual Studio Code Editor. Visual Studio Code is a lightweight but powerful source code editor which runs on your desktop and is available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. It comes with built-in support for JavaScript, TypeScript, and Node.js, and has a rich ecosystem of extensions for other languages, such as C++, C Sharp, Java, Python, PHP, Go, and runtimes, such as .NET and Unity. Let's click on Open Folder button. Go to the desktop and make a new folder with any name such as VS underscore code and select that folder to import it. Click on the new file icon and make a Python file such as main.py. Next, let's download the latest version of Python. The download link is available in the description below. Let's check if Python is installed and working fine. On desktop, press the shift key and right click to select open PowerShell window here. The current latest version is Python 3.8.3. Let's open up the Visual Studio Code Editor. As the main.py is clicked, the Python extension loading message will be displayed in the status bar near the bottom left corner. We can open up the terminal to check the recently installed Python. Let's install our first extension named AREPL for Visual Studio Code to enable real-time evaluation of Python code. This incredible feature makes it much easier to learn the basics of Python by showing the output of your code in real-time. Once the extension is installed, click on the orange ARP icon to view the variables in real time.
let's install another quick and useful extension named Python Quick Print. To save time, we can simply select any word and press Ctrl Shift L to put a print line for the logging purpose. Let's install another very important extension for the multiple highlight selection feature. After the Highlight Ice Mode Select extension is installed, we can highlight any word by double-clicking it. It is very useful for faster code review. You can change or install various themes. To view or change a default theme we can choose color theme option in the preferences as show. Atom is another powerful code editor with beautiful theme. So let's install a cool theme named Atom Material Theme. The default theme in Atom is Atom 1 Dark, so let's try it as well. Another popular editor is Notepad++. Let's try to make the appearance of that editor in Visual Studio Code using a theme. However, to block comment a piece of code, you can select the lines and press Ctrl and forward slash keys together. Similarly, to uncomment, press them again.
In Python we can make a new function. A good coding habit is to put the documentation string in the function to describe the inputs, outputs, and various features of the function. However, instead of manually typing all things we can instead utilize another helpful extension named AutodocString. The shortcut key to generate auto doc string is control shift F2. Next we can install kite, which is another powerful extension for faster view and code completion. The next step is to install pip for python. Copy and paste this link in browser to obtain get pip.py file. Put the git pip.py file on desktop and open up PowerShell and execute the command to install pip. Now you can restart the Visual Studio Code Editor and pip will be automatically configured, in addition lint can be installed as you can see the installation running in the terminal. To enable Kite extension, we have to install Kite Engine from the link in the description below. Let's open up the Kite application. As we hover mouse over the function, the details are shown by Kite extension in real time. That's all for now, if you like this video please share and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and have a happy coding.